so much that I almost don't want to tell anyone about it. <laughs> Bagatelle Gardens are really a little heaven on earth. It is the most quiet I've found Paris to be. But every once in a while you just hear the, the sound of the peacocks who we're gonna meet because they roam free here. This is one of my favorite places to come to as soon as the weather's warm enough. It's still in Paris. It's just a little bit out of the way, which means not a lot of people go there. And there are peacocks, there are huge, colorful fish. There's, there's a rosary and above all, a very sexy history. The metro does not go exactly to the spot so you have to get off at Bois de Boulogne and walk through the forest and it takes about half an hour to 40 minutes to walk there. The entry fee is two euros fifty per person which is really nothing. The rosary is this way so when you walk through the rosary it you're just surrounded by, you just smell the roses in the air. It smells divine. There are two rose gardens. There is the classic one and then there's the wild one. Where with the classic one, you know, it's a very um, beautifully set uh, garden where you know, you will see all the, the, the different species of roses. And then on the wild one, they're just around. You just have to walk around and you'll get to see them. They all have numbers and names, so you know what they're, where they're from and what, what species they are. The Bagatelle has hosted the International Rose Competition since a very long time now. And sometimes they close it down specifically for this reason, but it's just one day in the year. It's somewhere I'd want to go every single year. It's just so beautiful and peaceful and it feels like you're just taken out of everyday life. Imagine being here after a very tiny bit of rain, like the roses that just... You would think that there would be a lot of people in the rose garden, but actually there aren't. You get to walk around and smell as many roses as you want, or just walk hand in hand with your loved one. And um, yeah, no, people don't really come here a lot. I know many Parisians who've never even come here. It's just out of the way and they don't come and they don't know what's here. They just think, oh, it's an extension of the Bois de Boulogne, but it's not. It's different. You can decide between the peacocks or the roses or the fact that it used to be an orgy party central. <laughs> I wish I had a horse and a dress like Marie Antoinette and go around <laughs> with classical music playing in the background. <laughs> thinking what it would be like to be French nobility and have all this space to yourself. Which is something you actually get to do in Bagatelle and not at the Louvre, for example, because there are so many people. Uh, you can actually live your imagination in Bagatelle. 
you know, you could go to the Versailles and get, you know, walk through the garden. <laughs> it does not compare, simply it does not compare with those places. It's, oh, first of all, you're not surrounded by a crowd of people who are all doing the same thing. The, this day when we were here, we saw two bridal photographs. <laughs> Really, like if I had, if I needed to think of heaven, that's what it would look like. So when you come here, you get to walk around for hours and enjoy the beautiful botanical gardens. You get to experience nature up close. Uh, with animals that are not afraid of humans, but please don't feed them, please. If you want, you can have a picnic. It's very romantic here. There are, I think, three waterfalls in all of Bagatelle. Um, they're not huge ones, but they're very serene to just sit close to and listen to the water. When you're walking over the ponds, try to have a look over the, the side because you will see these humongous colored fish in there that uh, sometimes even have a little fight with the ducks. <laughs> Bagatelle in French basically means trifle, nothing of importance. So there were these grounds close to the Bois de Boulogne where um, nobility would go hunting um, because hunting at the time was a noble uh, sport. The Duke of Estrée uh, gets this piece of land and he makes a little, uh, a little house, mansionette, if you will, for his wife uh, in this place. And it is said that uh, here she received a lot of lovers. And because there were a lot of nobility coming here to hunt, they also found some other types of pleasures in the woods. Um, this place started to become known as the place where people went to have, <clears throat> yeah. After the death of the Duke and his wife, this place is not really visited as much until Marie Antoinette makes a bet with her uh, brother-in-law that he cannot make a mansion in this place in less than a hundred days. So the brother-in-law actually does this in way under a hundred days. Uh, they employ 900 workers to make the, the mansion here and wins the bet. This is basically just a rumor, and you can't really tell because of all the bad press around Marie Antoinette, but they said that she would also see her lovers here. You know, just her own place away from everything else, and she, you know, had a lot of orgies here. It looks like a very small place to have orgy parties, uh, but hey, you know, it's got pretty big gardens and if the weather is good, why not? <laughs> freedom of, just freedom in terms of what you do, what makes you happy if you can afford it. And back then, these people were the only ones who afforded it. Now, everybody can. Well, I'm here to tell you that today there's uh, no sign of this sexy history here anymore. 
uh, it is absolutely against the law to do anything <laughs> in public spaces but you get to have a romantic uh, picnic perhaps maybe a smooch or two but that's about it if you're lying on the grass well let me tell you if you're not a bird person you might not want to lie on the grass <laughs> um, there may be some geese or ducks or uh, peacocks that might approach you because they're not afraid of anything. I love coming here to read. Uh, it is so serene. It's one of the few places in the city where you don't actually hear cars or sirens. I mean, you do a little bit at the very, very base, but that's just to be expected. And um, yeah, it's a nice place to just relax. Take a whole day, half a day, however much time you have, and uh, enjoy this little heaven. Yeah.